the unbeatable Coblerville Elementary School team number one successfully made it to the finals and winning the championships in elementary division during the Namiva PSS Interscholastic Volleyball League on Saturday at the Olei Sports Complex. The Umangs dominated the championship game by beating Kagman Elementary School with a score of 21 points against just five from the Blue Marlins. Prior to the title match, the Umangs had to face another strong team from William S. Rages Elementary School, team number one. The Umangs won the match by just two points, requiring an overtime excursion. The Umangs also defeated another unbeatable team, the Garapan Elementary School, team number one, during the elimination round on Friday with a score of 21 to 10 against the Mallards. Umang's coach, Francis Mendiola, is ecstatic. Gives all the credit to his players for winning the title this year. It was good. The, the players did. Uh, I gave the players the, all the credit for that. As coaches, we just prepare them, and it's up to them to, uh, to take it in. Uh, they're, they're happy about it. If they're happy, I'm happy. The coaches are happy about it. Umangs took this tournament seriously and started training after coming back from their Christmas break in January. We started in uh, when they came back from uh, Christmas break. Christmas break, we, we uh, asked uh, uh, Nick's uh, PSS to help uh, line the field for us, and then since then we start practicing basics, uh, serving, bump, and and the rule of the game. They may be undefeated, but facing the WSR was a very challenging game for them. Uh, the toughest team was uh, against the quarterfinals against uh, WSR. We, uh, we went uh, overtime with them. Uh, it's the first game on the, on the championship weekend, and uh, the, the kids were just nervous. So I think that's the toughest one. It's 22 to 20 in the game, yeah. And here are the highlights from this year's PSS Co-Ed Volleyball Tournament. Here's some words from the man in charge himself, Mr. Nick Gross. Well, I tell you, uh, as far as this this event in particular, our uh, elementary volleyball, it was a fantastic season. Uh, played out over four or five weeks that we've done Friday nights under the lights, and uh, finally concluding with this two-day double elimination tournament that started last night, Friday, and uh, concluded just now with the Coblerville Umang getting the win. Um, Fantastic season and a great, great um, future for volleyball in the CNMI, I think. You know, we had uh, ended up with 20 total teams representing 13 schools on all three islands for a total of 230 kids in the 12 and under range. And uh, that's just a testament to the community getting behind what we're doing and making sure that our kids have access to these uh, really important sporting programs. And uh, I applaud the CNMI for coming out and supporting it. It was a great tournament. Um, narrowed all the way down from 20 to, to one team standing, and that was Coblerville, uh, pulling it off undefeated throughout the tournament. And uh, congratulations to them and their coaching staff. And uh, Kagman, you know, I think uh, nobody necessarily saw Kagman coming up and getting second place, and congratulations to the Blue Martins. But really just a great tournament, and seeing the emotions of sport is a lot of what we do it for. There was so many tears here that you couldn't tell sometimes if they were happy or if they were defeated, uh, you know, but this is really uh, that social emotional learning that we speak of in the public school system. I think this is really a good way to encompass it. With all different sports happening right now under his command, Gross is very thankful to NMSA and its members for supporting PSS sports programs. Well, you know, the, the organization of it is, uh, that, that, that's uh, certainly what we do in athletic programs is work on being able to provide all of these opportunities. But none of it would be possible without our partnerships through the Northern Mariana Sports uh, Association and its membership. Uh, annually, we get together with all of the different sport federations and drop MOUs 
um, and figure out how we can complement each other. You know, as athletic programs, we're a staff of four um, entirely as a program, and so there's really no chance that we can be the ones officiating and setting up and breaking down and doing every part of it. And so we rely on those uh, partnerships and the support of the, the member federations. And so, yeah, today we have badminton with NMBA happening inside at a gym. We've got the Paddle Association and our outrigger going on across the beach at Kalili. Last night we had the Basketball Federation and our boys high school basketball going on. And then the support of the Volleyball Association here. Um, that's what makes it, makes it all happen is those partnerships in a small community with all of our different uh, supporting partners. And so we're just so thankful for the uh, continuing support and partnership of those uh, sporting federations.